welcome to episode 17 of Vampire Vampire Vampire. My name is Antacitor, and just as I said last time, I think we might eat this guy. Uh, I checked his, uh, his goods, and uh, he had only one good weapon part, so I don't know if they, they regenerate over time or whatever, but... It doesn't matter, we're just gonna eat him. Good I think evening, we're good with, with our damage. Uh, wait, do you have... No. No, we're good with you, right? Yeah. Come here. Alright, so uh, Milton and me, we're gonna go uh, for a walk through the hospital. Um... We just got some business to discuss, you know, uh, it has to do with ambulance transportation, uh, we're just gonna go over some pointers of, uh, uh, how to more efficiently transport patients and whatnot, you know. Okay, I think we're, uh, far, far enough. I wonder if I'll get his shotgun. He sells a shotgun, but I don't know if I get it if I kill him. Pippa, my princess, flee away while you can. Oh, she's not gonna flee away. All she's is next. Lost. There he is. The shotgun. Oh, and I got a good handle part, so we'll be able to upgrade. Is that her? Yeah, we just gotta cure her from the cold. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doctor Reed. Do you need medical? I'm afraid I've contracted some illness, Doctor. Yeah, I not under my watch, nurse. Take this. Will feel better. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Alright, let's see. Yep. Come with me. Milton wants to tell you something. He's in the... In the... Um, what is that place exactly? Hey, sir. Um, I'm just taking her to uh, Milton. They have a... Rela I mean... Oh, nobody's supposed to know that. Um, We're just gonna discuss something here. This is where your lover died. This is where you die as well. I knew I should have fled this rotten city with Milton since the first day of the contagion. Yep, you should have. But you didn't. Now you suffer the consequences. Let's see if that small key opens this thing. Yes, it does. 350 shillings. Noise, 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 noise. Alright. Uh, I guess we can go... Whoops. We can go upgrade some stuff. Not me, but like the... Um, the weapon. I'm not gonna upgrade myself until later. I think I'm good for now. Oh. Okay, a new thing. And a new thing. I guess I should start, like... Yeah, I have plenty of things, so I'm just gonna go through that. I'm actually really good with stamina, but... Whatever. Why not? All of them. I have plenty of stuff. So there's nothing here? Just this? Antidote. Antidote for the vampiric virus? Alright, I will, before I forget to do this. Oh, I need one more! God dang it! That's so annoying. How about you? So what does this do? Damage dealt. Mm. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, let's increase the... Damage dealt, and so we're gonna equip the shotgun here. Uh, 
I don't have a lot of ammo, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I got this sword also. We're gonna try that stuff out. Alright. Go to Lady Ashbury's mansion, but didn't we want to do something else? I think... Yes, we can go talk to... Is it in Whitechapel? Oh, man. Yeah. Find someone who can read Braille alphabet one-fourth. Wait, I already be belong. I already talked to these two guys. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna go to Whitechapel. Um, if I even remember how to get there. Oh, actually, it's this way. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Whitechapel. And uh, we're gonna do all this stuff over there. Oh, perfect. We have some people here. Let's try out our new things. Noise! Ow. Oh, it's reloading. Oh, it fires both. That's how shotguns work, that's right. Ah, that's pretty cool. Alright, here is this lady. I switched to the wooden stake again because the shotgun. It's not the best. Could this be the scarf? It's cool, but you lost Miss Popper. It is much more than a scarf to me. It is the only thing that connects me to my family and my country. Thank you so much. No problem. Oh no, what failed? Should I have given it to the other guy? God dang it. Ah, what the fudge. What is their level? Four and four. How are the conditions in Whitechapel these days? When I think about all the people who died trying to reach England, it seems we escaped a war just to die on foreign shores, hated by all. I see. Well, I Goodbye, fudged up. Miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Alright, I'm gonna go look for the the guy that won't let me in. I'm just gonna figure out where he is exactly. I think he's in this area. Nope. Like, nope, nope, nope. Here, there, that area. So I'm gonna go look for him. Alright, I made it. It wasn't quite where I said it was. It was mm, over here. <laughs> but... What the? But we found the place. Wait, what? Who the fudge are you? You're mine. Who the hell is this guy? But haha, -ha, when you get stuck, you can't do anything. That's happened to me so many times. So what was up with that guy? Because we're getting new enemies now, fancier ones. Good evening, sir. It's me again. Leave me alone, I say, whoever you are. Oh no, you're gonna let me in. It cannot be safe for a blind man to live here alone. Let me enter, sir. I swear I mean you no harm. Well, a voice never lies, and yours clearly is the voice of a gentleman. All right, doctor, come on in. <laughs> what kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? Well, you're the one that called me a gentleman, so... So what is the name of my nocturnal visitor? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed? The eminent surgeon? My god! I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me, sir. No, sir, I am flattered. I read all your work when I still had my sight. I loved it. I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? I hear them hissing and scratching at my door every night. The sick made mad by the fever. But these walls are thick, and my lock is solid. And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? I know you assisted Professor Carell in France, and that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. 
This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. Does someone take care of you in this isolated place? My sister Loretta and I have our daily routine. Every morning and evening she comes by so we can talk and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. Do you not appreciate your sister's visit? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me. And I believe she could say the same thing about me. Where does your sister go? Well, let's just say, she earns enough money for us both. What's so amusing about that? I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake miracle elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. Aha! It is fake. What? I thought something unlocked for you. Do you know Braille, Mr. Swanborough? I'm no expert, but I learned it in my spare time, yes. Why? I found a strange document entitled Cure for Blindness. It's written in Braille, so I thought perhaps it was yours. Really? Is that some kind of sick joke? Let me see. Here it is. This letter seems authentic. And it actually refers to an experimental cure for blindness. You have piqued my interest, Dr. Reed. Could it be of any use to you? No. This page is just a part of a larger diary. I'd be glad if you could find the other pages. Uh, I guess I'll just have to look around somewhere, I suppose. Uh, so, nothing then? Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. Alright, let's go what talk to the sister after to going around his house. And take in everything he owns. Of course it is. Uh, is that it? How do you see the world these days? Through bloodshot eyes. Alright, let's go speak to the sister. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Who is this Your guy? My father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Okay, then. Come on in. I'm Harry, by the way. That was a lie, boy. Your father cares not for you. I just wanted to get in your house and steal stuff. It's locked, all right. Job refusal letter. So if you want to read that, you can pass it. So that's the father. He's in a tough financial situation. Oh. Professional vampire hunters. If you want to read that, you can pass it. What else? What else? What else? Is there only pain? And... So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Have you any recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Nobody dares to enter the dispensary now. Rumors say the nurse has gone mad. Really? How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough, like... Well, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. Forgive my bluntness, young man, but you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? Mm. 
You have a roof over your head, a place to call home. Many people here are not as lucky, you know. That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I... I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you stay at home all day? For fear of the epidemic? I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. Would it ease tensions with your father if he got an honest job? Because he tried, you know. I can't say. I'd be glad if he dropped his thuggish activities. But I'm not sure it would be enough. Why is that? Sometimes I suspect it's me, Dr. Reed. Or it's this life. It's like I can't find my place. Do you remember when Barrett Lewis was close to your family? To your mother? Not really. I was too young. But I remember it was a happier time. Mr. Lewis was funny. He often had dinner with us. Why are you sad? because it hurts to remember a time when my father used to laugh and smile. It hurts to realize he's as sad as me now. How was he towards you? He was nice, I guess. He never forgot my birthday. He always offered me books. I liked books. I guess that's it. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Is there only pain? What is he? Oh, he's one. Sepsis? I guess I'll cure him right now. Um, do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. You'll feel better with this. But you need to get a grip, young man. Medication alone won't cure melancholia. I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of living long in a world like this. But I thank you for your concern, sir. Goodbye. Even my oh. dreams are soaked with gloom. What? Alright, let's talk to the father. Oh. You again? Yeah, me again. What do you want this time? Why do you keep on working for the gang, Joe? You know it doesn't suit you. It's true, I hate this job. And I know I made some bad choices, but I'm a wet boot boy now. And people won't forget it. You could leave tomorrow. Start another life in another town. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. We are poor. My son's weak. And there's no way he'll endure another disappointment. Harry doesn't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why did you make him come here? I've always put my son's interests above everything else. Whatever he may think. Our house is small but affordable. The walls are thin, but the door is solid. You really love your son, don't you, Mr. Peterson? He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me for the choices I make and pushes me buttons more than he should. Since the criminal nature of your job means you could be arrested, are you not afraid of what would happen to your boy if you were? No one will ever take my son away from me. 
If that ever occurred, I'd... I'd hunt the bastard down and rip off his head with my bare hands. Do you have any regrets? Only one. Not to have my beloved wife by my side. She died when Harry was little. My sweet Jane. She gave the boy confidence. So nothing got unlocked, huh? Dang it. Can I offer you my medal? Keep him. There is a th All right. Whatever. Goodbye, Mr. We still need to find the other lady. Let's talk to this guy. Does he know about uh the mother? You never Oh yeah, what do we right. have? Show do you have any good weapon parts? Yes he does. Wait, what is this? Range weapon mechanism. I'll buy both of them. Tiny good hand repair. Alright. That should be good. I still need to talk to you though. Never what do you know of Harry Peterson? The boy seems so fragile. Not like his father at all. Harry's a good boy, but he spends most of his time complaining. He's had it tough, all right, but he needs to grow a pair. What troubles him exactly? Well, despite being his father's son, almost everything, I think. He never wanted to come to Whitechapel in the first place. Hates this place more than most of us. Barrett, you had an affair with Joe's wife, didn't you? Yeah, I did. She's the only woman I loved. My first regret is that she stayed with Joe after Harry was born. The second is I never shed a tear when she died. Do you mean... you're Harry's father? No one will ever know for sure. And it's better that way. And I don't believe I'd have been all that bad as a dad. Did you ever try talking to Joe? Never. But I suspected he knew everything, even without knowing it. And he decided to make me pay in his own way. So... That's it? Oh... Wait, what's your mesmer- Ah, fudge, I can't. Do you need help, sir? To be honest, I'd prefer you- Oh, I don't have. I will see you later. Sorry. For now, Mr. Lewis. All right, still need to find the lady Swamborough. We need to confront her about the fake um thing. Wait, who's that? Oh, Harry. Maybe he has something else. To say. Evening. No. How are conditions in Whitechapel at present? The way this sickness is spreading, I don't think there'll be enough new bloods to replace those tenants I'm losing from this bloody thing. But we need to go to the dispensary to check it out. Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Not really. A man oh. such as yourself, knee-deep in the muck of Whitechapel, must know more. Speak now. Heard it closed after the owners died. Refugees don't want to come to Whitechapel no more. Scared, I hear. You sound disappointed. As long as she was there at the dispensary, it attracted more immigrants and kept my place full. Such a shame. Oh, what do we know about you now? It's a fine thing. Why am I not convinced? Maybe it's because you lack faith. Being a skeptic must be useful for a man of science. True. But nothing else, huh? Goodbye, Mr. Alright, let's go to the dispensary. Actually. Is that there's the lady? Oh my god, there she is. Haha. -ha. We'll go to this actually oh man, I'm gonna forget. I hope I don't forget Good to go. Good evening, my dear colleague. Loretta, 
Your miraculous formula wouldn't even cure a common cold, and you know it. The Swanborough's cordial secret ingredient is hope, Doctor. And it's something people around here really need. A placebo effect is real and has benefit. But in your case, you could be murdering your customers who may die because they are not receiving the necessary medical attention. Medical attention? In Whitechapel? Trust me, my cordial is the best option they have, since it is the only one. If your true purpose was to help, you wouldn't take money from the poor for your snake oil. Oh, but to pay for it is part of the process, Doctor. If it were free, they wouldn't believe in it. That actually makes sense. Nothing though, right? How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? When people buy guns instead of medication, it means they have already traded hope for fear in their hearts. In my book, that's never a good thing, Doctor. Goodbye, Miss Swanbrough. Alright, let's go to the dispensary before I freaking forget. Who's that? Is that a... Uh, Benjamin Palmer? Good evening, Ben. I'm afraid not, Mr. Reed. Uh... No. I... Alright. Now let's go to the <laughs> dispensary. No more... Distractions. Sound good. That sounds like a woman. Did she transform into a scout? Dorothy Crane, yes. Huh. Interesting. What was that? Oh, the door outside, maybe? Alright, Dorothy Crane. Let's you and me talk about this, okay? serves it's somewhere around here there treatment for a headache a glass of vial medical voucher there we go now we're cooking a medical voucher printed in English and Romanian that grants a free oh well that doesn't <laughs> really <laughs> help me Alright, well, I think we're done with uh, Whitechapel then, right? Is there anyone we can actually eat? Yeah, but, like, they don't have, like, their full potential yet. Yeah, and the other ones, I don't... Yeah. Oh! Richard Nithercott. I can eat him. Alright, I'm gonna go look for him. Oh, I found Shaoshun. 
Good evening, Xiao Shu. Wang Shanghao, Dr. Reed. It's good to see you again. Why don't you move to a better neighborhood? I thought about it, I confess. To go back to the same empty home every day still hurts me a lot. Why stay here then? I am a woman of habit, Dr. Reed. And for now I am happier being useful in a familiar place than I would be anywhere else. What are you doing with your time now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to help the poor and sick of the neighborhood by handing out medicine. Giving out medicine? How can you afford to do that? I am a rich widow, Dr. Reed. My departed husband left me enough money to last the rest of my life. I can spend some on those who don't have any. Well, that's awfully nice of you. That's very charitable of you. But why do it at night? I've noticed that the most desperate people tend to go out after dark. Hence my presence. To help them when I can. Well, you're about to die though, as, long, as soon as I re uh, find out your... Last How hint. You feel now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to follow your advice, sir. I won't forget the dead. But my efforts will be for the living. Do be careful. These streets can be as dangerous as that terrible place where we first met. That's true. And maybe it's the best reason to help people around here. Oh, come on, me. Are you kidding me? Do you still think about your departed husband? Of course I do. I'll never forget my beloved Matthew, but how do I put it? Now I miss him more than I want him back. I know what you mean. And I think it means you're getting better. Maybe death will take me the way it took Matthew. Without warning and without mercy. Yeah, but until that's right. then, I live on. And that is today, I'm afraid. Because uh, I can't get your uh, other hint. So come with me, Shaoxin. I was also looking for that other guy, right? I forgot. Alright, so me and Shaoxin are just going for a walk. Come here, Shaoxin. me to live if it was to kill me later if it was a game consider it a success you cruel demon <laughs> I am cruel never forget it Shao Xin we shall meet again in hell wedding ring on a necklace all right I still need to find as long as you have Alright, I remember who that guy is. It's the guy that's behind the church. The poet guy. Whoa! Hmm. Is it because I beat North Nurse Crane, so these guys appear now? Werewolf? Messing around. All right. No, I guess it's just because it's critical, so more powerful monsters appear. Just gonna check back here real quick, even though I've done that a bunch of times. Mm. 
All right, poet. Made flesh, I tell you. Good evening. And anything new you want to tell me? And you're good to go, right? Yeah. Come with me. I need you to uh, recite a poem to someone. I mean, there's no one that can see us here already, so... Why not just do it there? It's not making me walk all the way over here. Delicious. Death has no splendor at all. Oh, I see it now. I see it. Oh, the verses I could write. 11,000 XP. Dang. Alright. So, I don't know. Should we... Mm. This is the West End, okay. Wait, am I going to the west end or east end? There is no east end, so definitely west end is where all the rest of the people are that I haven't met yet. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Wait, I already... Emmeline Reed. Oh, that was my mother. I wonder if I... Nah, probably couldn't have seen her before her death. Anyone I can kill here? No. I still need to find out more. Right, I need... These two, I still need one more information about them. This guy, I need a bunch of information about him. Oh, Ichabod. Oh, no, I'm level 3. Alright. Hmm... All right, let's go. Let's go sleep. All right, I think we can finally upgrade this one now, right? Yes. Let's do it. Whoa. So increase damage. And now let's go for the damage. I have plenty of stamina. Yes, 276. What do I need for this one? Good handle parts. All right. So how much does this one do? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. It's this one. 121. This one, 276. And if I had upgraded that one, how much damage? 170. Alright. Alright, let's go to sleep and level up. We have a bunch of stuff to. That one's already done. I guess I can go with the health. Yeah, I think that's that's good. <laughs> Alright, what about this one? Luck to level 23, okay. Not really gonna spend on another. Oh, I haven't used this one! I'll upgrade it though. Make it more powerful. So should I make you concentrate to create three small blood spear which can hit all enemies facing you compared to the base ability range and individual damage is reduced. You throw a large blood spear which can pass through enemies in front of you. This massive project will grow great damage than before. Yeah, let's go for that. Three thousand Dang. Ooh. You throw a large blood spear which Yeah. Let's go for it. Let's go crazy. how bad things are gonna get Ugh, yeah that's right so what happens if he goes to hostile do people start attacking me why is he like kind of great great out he's great out as well all right 
newspapers, I guess it just happens when the story says a few nights later or whatever. So there was something else. There was something I wanted to check. God, God dang it. Oh, yeah. I want to equip the, the different one. Because you see, this one all all my all, all all this time, I thought that this was blood damage, but it has always been like that sword damage, whatever it's called. And this is cheaper. This costs twenty five, and this costs twenty. All right. Yes. Can I switch it? Is there any way to switch it up? Probably not. I'll switch back to this also. Uh All right. Let's go to um. Oh, let's fight this guy. Let's use our. Uh... Let's line them up. Oh! Oh my God! Wow. Okay, that was good. I click. I, I I clicked the wrong button first. That was awesome, though. Yeah, if you align it well, you can kill two at once. Ah, uh, all right. Let's go to the mansion. Whoa. Maker, what do you want? You must prepare, child, for the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. Stay away, whoever you are! This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. I am not your champion. But of course you are, son. As surely as you are the blood of my blood. I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to it. Silence! I dismiss you now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence. Yeah, leave me alone. I'm tired of all these puppet shows. Aha, Finsbury's Gate. It is serious, the situation here. Let's see if there's anything good in this trash can. Supposed to be the introduction to the vampire. They want war. I'll show them war. Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. Was she a vampire? Man, so many new things to explore. Join the fight. Whoa! Is that a one hit thing? Monster! Don't you know better? Ah, I was about to do the same thing. He resisted. Give me your blood, vampire. Die. Anyone else drop anything? Yeah, you did. Good trigger part. Okay, okay. Okay, looks like this is the mansion. This place looks familiar, though. Oh, is this where? Were that late? No. A lot of things happening, though. All right. We're gonna go in there on the next episode then. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you like it, and to subscribe for more. Thanks again.